Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for you know giving me this opportunity to show to share with you a little bit about how I use command. Um, do any one of you use command? I know I know Claudia doesn't. Yeah, brand new. Okay, perfect. This, this class is for you. So command is a tool, right, that, that we have here at uh, Keller Williams that allows us to 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 um, follow up on our context, though, that we uh, come across pretty much every day when we when we dial or you um, prospecting. Uh, for me personally, I, I dial every morning from 9 to 12. And we have the, the group here with Derek. Um, even you joined us the other day as well. Uh, Manny, Hector, and uh, Andrew. So what I do is, I'm going to tell you a little bit of what I do, how I do it. So I dial from 9 to 12 when I do come across a contact that, um maybe is interested in buying or selling or you know what i don't have any plans at the moment whatever that is in in that system that vortex it's called vortex what i use for my dialer i i'm taking notes as i go so so i just put whatever the convers however the conversation went and then on my little notepad on the side i just put their name so at the end of my call session either that afternoon or later on that night when I'm no longer doing the activities that are going to produce me the money, like I was talking to you earlier, uh, I add them to command. So I go back and forth between my vortex and, and uh, uh, command. So then I add them and then I transfer the notes from, and I'll show you right now how, how I do it, but I transfer the notes from vortex to command. But here is, this is the, this is the, the homepage. So here you'll see uh, the health score. For me, my goal is to have it at 95% on, uh, on every single one. So as you can see, you know, my phone numbers, I have everyone's phone numbers. Um, obviously, because I talk to them and then I just transfer them here. Uh, the emails, sometimes they don't want to give me their emails. And it's okay. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, what I do before I add them to command, I schedule myself uh, on, on, Google, on Google Calendar. A reminder, such and such person follow vortex notes so i keep it very short and simple between my google calendar and command because on my google calendar i say follow vortex notes and then on my vortex notes my dialer it says whatever the convers however the conversation went they didn't provide email so then i just follow up with them i don't know a week or maybe two weeks uh whatever time from i feel is necessary for me to follow up with them and then i get the email that's exactly what i did yesterday uh for a lot of callback sets that i had and I got about 10 uh, emails from people previously telling me, no, I don't want to give you my email for X, Y, Z reason. So uh, 100% uh, emails, my goal is 95, address is 95. A lot of the times when I call that neighborhood, they, don't, they no longer live there. So uh, it's about 50% right now for me. And then also the, the neighborhood. I'll explain to you what the neighborhood is, but... Um, you can update that as well so they can get monthly uh, newsletters from, from the neighborhood where they live. So here are my tasks uh, of, that I do for me. So I don't, if I have them on command, I don't, because at the beginning I used to go back and forth between command and then Google Calendar. So I will have two tasks and it was just very complicated for me because I had to erase or follow up the one that I had on Google Calendar. And then I had to go back here and then delete it. And then I had to go back and forth, back and forth. So if they give me their contact, if I had their uh, email address, phone number, and then address, I add them to command. And then I just create the task on command. So I no longer go to Google Calendar. If that person, that conversation was unclear where I had to go back to Vortex and I decided not to put him in command, I just leave it on Vortex. And then I go to Google Calendar. And then I create myself a task you know, put their name, like I was saying, and then follow Vortex notes. And then I just go and, you know, do what I have to do. But these are my tasks here. So um, contacts. This is where I have my contacts. So as you can see, I have their, their, um, their name. And then I, for me, when I, when I bring him on command, I, I tag them how I how it works for me because the way it's gonna work for you or you, it's not gonna work for me. So for me, I put uh, my wife's contact, Marty's contact. So I know that it is from her. Uh, email everyone. So I'll explain to you why I put email everyone. And then I put um, A and W, I think it is, right? Because I do the DTD too. 
Uh, do you guys know what that what that is? The DTD2? Yeah? DTD2? No, do you know what that is? So uh, uh, give me your emails and then I, I can, or maybe Claudia, I don't know if, you, if she has it. Maybe she can send it to you, but I'll send it to you. Uh, it's just a format um, that allows you to keep track of letters every week. So you touch them four times a year. So let's just say the first week of January, you touch A and W. The next week, you touch whatever, B and K. Uh, the third week, it's C and K. So there's four quarters in a year. And then you go through, uh, I think it's 12, 12 weeks. I'm sorry, not to, is, is it 12 weeks and a quarter? Yeah, 12 weeks. So 12 weeks, all the alphabet, uh, all the letters in the alphabet will get broken down into even sections, broken down into 12 weeks. So every week you're following up with the letters A and W, uh, B and K, C and w, uh, uh, X, whatever that is. So I, I do that for, for me. Uh, nurture, I put nurture for me if I know that I had a really, really good conversation. Maybe not the first time, but maybe the second time or the third time. Um, I'm not looking to sell right now. I'm not looking to buy. But by the way, you know, I, I do have someone that may be interested. So I, I started to learn to probe more into the conversation, just seeking to understand what they what they uh, what they're really saying to me. Um, and so based off that conversation, I assess myself how I want to tag them here so that I can follow up with them. And then I'll, I'll explain why I do the tags. But anyways, you have the ability to do a, a, a lead. So let's just say um, this is one of my sellers. So you guys can call her if you want to. But <laughs> she's, already, she's already selling right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I tag him here. So I mark him. So you see that lead? You can take it off. It's, she's no longer a lead. Because I had a lot of leads that were no longer leads. Some of them were like, what the heck are you calling me for? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I took him off a lead. A lead is someone, for me, is someone who says, I'm interested in selling. You know what? I thought about selling. Uh, we're going to be selling next year. Um, I have to talk to my husband about it. I have to talk to my wife about it. So for me, that is someone who's saying that they're interested. So it is my job to follow up with them and then just feed him whatever information is necessary so that I can turn him into a, so that I can convert him into a potential buyer or seller. And when I say buyer, that means you know, like I have their letter and we're actively looking at, oh yeah, I'm thinking about buying, you know, because that's not a buyer, you know, that's a lead. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then I have the ability to do so. So I mark them as a lead, right? So this is my seller. Then I, I, I tag him next seller, right? Uh, that automatically uh, command gave it to me. So I didn't even mess with it because I didn't want to break my head at the beginning. Uh, so I just left it like that next seller. So I know th those are my next sellers. Uh, the tags that I was telling you. So the phone numbers and then the emails. The neighborhood uh, search, uh, the neighborhood uh, uh, search that I was showing you earlier in the little circles, this is what it is. So if I have their address, right? If I have their address, it's gonna, it's gonna be here. Um, if I don't have their address, I go onto the neighborhood search and then I just type in whatever, whatever address, um, uh, uh, whatever city is it that I, let's just say Hemet. So, so Hemet, right? And then these are, these are the neighborhoods that command can give you for the city of Hemet. So sometimes when I, when I select one of them, if I, if I, let's just say I select this one, right? Um, or it should update here on my, on my activity. But sometimes the smart plan won't pick it up won't pick it up because there's no active listings in that neighborhood. So it'll tell me right there, I, we unsubscribe your uh, 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 contact from, from, from the mailing because there's no active listings. So what I do is I go back and then I type another neighborhood so that, so that they can get a, 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 an update from me every month. Not from me physically, but from command. They send them all of my information and then um, they get it automatically. I don't have to worry about it, which I'll explain to you another plan that I just learned from Hector uh, a couple of days ago, the eight by eight. That's awesome. So that's what I do here. And then, so when I was telling you earlier that I, after I talked to him, I come to my uh, timeline, right? So then I go to my timeline, my timeline, and then I just add an activity. So I just say, okay, so I talked to this person. Um, either we, we met up, it was a call, 
uh, email or I sent them a text or just a note for me. So let's just say I, I talked to her today and she said, whatever, right? You know, I'm looking to sell. And so then I just put it here and then automatically your activity comes here. So you keep track of all of your conversations that you have with that person. Yeah. And then it'll, it'll, it'll tell you also what, when, when the email goes out, you see, it went out on May 7th. So another one is going to come up. Um, the smart plans. So I have this uh, monthly neighborhood update, but I'm taking everybody off from that because I came across this eight by eight. So the eight by eight, and then I'll show you right now where, where you can find the smart plans. But the, the eight by eight is, it sends them an automatic text message. I design my own text message. You can design it however you want to, because command will tell you something like, oh, I'm so-and-so, you know, if you're ready to buy, give me a call, you know? So that's not me, that's not organic for me. So what I do is, hey, um, and I, and I just came up with this idea the other day. Hey, this is Jasmine, um, Marcelino's assistant. He just wanted me to reach out to you and, and, and see if there's anything of value that he can send out to you. Or what I've started doing now is I said, every, time, every Tuesday I post a new YouTube video or a reel. Then I just put, hey, this is Jasmine, Marcelino's assistant. He just wanted me to share this uh, uh, um, a new video that he just posted on YouTube. And then I just put the link once and then I just save it and then every every week is going to send it not every week I'm sorry every other week is going to send it to them and it's just going to remind them hey this is Jasmine Marcelino's assistant here's the here's the text message uh here's the link for YouTube um you delay I'll, I'll I'll show you right now where you can change it so then the the text message is going to be delayed for seven days then you uh you touch you touch them so command will create a task for you after those seven days and then it's going to be another seven days delete. Then it's going to remind you to give him a phone call. And then the phone call could be anything like, hey, you know, this is Marcelino. Just wanted to see if you received my information. Um, I have what I call that listing presentation that uh, uh, the office gives us, the Michael Lewis, I think it's called. I, I flipped it and then I just turned it into what I call it my value proposition. So it's basically, in other words, about me. So I put my photo there. And then I, I put my own personal values, my own personal vision, vision, my own personal mission statement. Um, and then um, I forgot what else, uh, uh, something that we're doing for the community. Every year we feed 50 families. So, you know, part of your, country, you know, so-and-so goes to feeding, you know, families in need, whatever, right? So, because that's just me. And then, uh, and then I just tell them a little bit about how buyer's market work and how the seller's market work. And then just my resume. And then at the end, it just has all of my social media. Um, and then obviously, you know, a little bit more information about me. So then uh, after that, it sends them another um, text message, delays for seven days. And then this is the monthly neighborhood uh, update letter. When you add them here to your uh, neighborhood search, it will send them an automatic email here. It'll delay for seven days and then it'll, command will remind you, give them another phone call. So I just give them another phone call if I feel it's necessary. If I feel it's necessary, depending on how our conversation went. Because this is where, for me, uh, I, I assess the conversation. And then if I feel it's necessary to follow up with this person after seven days, I'll do that. And if not, then I just create my own task, which, I, which I'll show you where you can create it. And then it sends them an automatic, another automatic email. I'm sorry, text message. So on this one, I change it to... Hey, this is Jasmine, you know, Marcelino's assistant. He just wanted me to reach out to you, see if there's anything of value that we can send out your way. Yeah, and so it just sends it to them. Sometimes they reply, some of them subscribe. You can tell who unsubscribe. And when I get that notification, I create myself a task to follow up with them man uh, manually. So delay seven days, and then the interaction, you, you have an interaction with the, with, the, with the contact. So this is what I learned from Hector. At this moment, you do something personally, and then he was telling me that he sends them um, uh, um, pens. He sends them pens or sometimes notepads, and then it has the Gutierrez team, um, and he has to physically drop it off in the mail. So when I create this context, I make sure that I, let's say I talk to those five individuals that day and I am to command, I make sure that I start that task the same day 
So when I get to this day, this is, I think, 36 days or 45 days after. When I get to that, I go to the post office or I send somebody and they just put that on in, in the mail and then just sends them out. I'm still figuring this out right now. How am I going to do it? But that's, that is what Hector does. Yeah, or have Jasmine do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have Jasmine do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, I'm. <laughs> I am Jasmine. I'm dropping over the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so. <laughs> so then, also, uh, command has the ability for you. I figured this out. Um, there, there is a way for you. Well, there, there's all these uh, smart plans, and then I'll show you. I'll take you right now where you can find them. But this right here, I figured it out. I have this subscription that is called Bomb Bomb. So with Bomb Bomb, you create videos, and then you can send those videos by email to your contacts. So you're no longer like typing in, uh, "Hey, you know, I'm so and so and so and so, whatever." Right? It's 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 more like face to face with them. So after I talk to them, I'm like, hey, this is Marcelino. Thank you so much for taking, and I record that once. And this is like maybe about a year old. So I feel like I need to update it now. But like, hey, this is Marcelino. Thank you so much for taking my call today. Uh, I just wanted to take an opportunity just to thank you personally. Uh, but here's, here's all of my information. Then I attach my, my, um, my, my, my resume that I was telling you earlier. But all of my social media is down below. Feel free to follow and, you know, hope that we can stay connected. Something like that. But I started to learn that I need to start mentioning my social media. And I also ask them for their own social media so that we can stay connected. But this one, uh, you record the video on Bomb Bomb, And then there's a YouTube video where you can upload it to command. So my video, if I click here on this one, it'll, it'll, it'll send them automatically a video that I created on Bomb Bomb that I uploaded to command, And then just put like some... I don't know. It's, it's a little bit complex, so I don't want to confuse you, but you have the ability to put a video there and then just send it to them automatically. And it's just a one-time thing so that they can get it. So I'm still trying to figure out how do I bring my value proposition, my resume, so that I can upload it here so I could just do everything from command and I don't have to go to my Gmail and then just do it from Gmail and then come back over here. But I do everything from here. Um, so yeah, so this, this are, these are the smart plans that I put them in. And then my tasks, right? When I, when I have a task, a task for this person, I just uh, go here and then I just put, you know, um, call or follow up. And then I just put a description, you know, I need to get her email or I need to send, I have an appointment with her next week, uh, follow up with her or whatever, whatever that task is, I do it here. So I don't go to a Google calendar. So you can do that there. The way you add your contact is pretty much here. You go to edit, you put their info, email. You can mark them as a lead or you can you know, add or delete tags from here as well. Any questions? Questions, questions, no? No, are you understanding it? Yeah, somewhat. Do you use command? Yeah, oh, okay. Okay, so that's, that's the contacts part. So let's just say that I, because I have Twilio, I, it, it was becoming very time consuming for me to physically get my phone and then send them a text message, you know, after I spoke to them, you know, let's just say today, and then I follow up within a week, I have to go to my phone and they have to physically do it. So I just, yeah. How much is Bomb bomb? Bomb bomb, yeah. Uh, it's 500 for a whole year. Yeah, 500 for a whole year. Yeah. That's not bad. No, that's not bad. So let's just say, you know, uh, my A's and W's, right? Like I was saying earlier. So then I can either filter them here and then I just put tags and then I can pull them up as A and W's and then I apply and then all of my A and W's come up. So now I know that that week, that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow. Like I said, I've been just focusing on just call, 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 call that I just come over here and then I, I want to send them, you know, like a reminder, right? This is the week that I need to touch them. So I click all of them here or some of them. And then I click bulk selection and then you can send them a text message 
from here. So all of the contacts on that first page are gonna come up and you can type in your text message. Um, this is Mar this is Jasmine's Marcelino's assistant. Yeah, it makes you it makes you yeah, it makes you sound like you have an assistant. It makes you sound occupied. And you'll be surprised. I've been getting like, well, tell Marcelino to give me a call, please. And then I just call him like 30 minutes later. I purposely give myself, you know, 30 minutes or an hour. I don't call him right away. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I don't call him right away. Yeah. Because your assistant yeah. Gave you the message. Yeah. Yeah. Or the next day if you forget, like I did yesterday. Yeah. So then you type in your message right there. Uh, you can, if you have a business card, let's just say you have Canva, you can create your own digital business card. There's a way for you to upload it here as well. And then you can say, here's this business card, send it with whatever text message you decided to, to send to them. Uh, this is where you will also put your social media link. Uh, hey, you know, so-and-so, this is, he just posted a new reel on Instagram. Here's the link for the reel. And then just send them the link and it just sends it to them. When they click on the link, it's like when you get a text. You just click on the link and it just opens up Instagram and then they just can, you know, follow you there as well. So I do that here and I don't have to no longer follow up one at a time because that's what I was doing at the beginning, obviously, because I didn't have that many people on my database, but uh, I'm getting close to uh, 700. But, you know, what did we learn on Ricky Carruth? If we don't have a thousand in our database, you know, then we're only part-time agents. So, so really my goal is to get to a thousand by, by, by the end of July. And so that's, that's how you, that's how you would, um, um, keep track of your A's and W's. Um, how do you, the a and w? How do you tag them? How do you, how do you create the A and W, uh, tag? So you will go to, you click on the contact, right? But instead of going to the contact, you can always click on these three little buttons here and you click edit and it brings you back to this edit the contact and then you could just so let's just say okay so let's just say add a contact okay let's put yeah that's what i was gonna do <laughs> manny <laughs> yes, sir, no. Okay, so then Manny Serna, right? So then you go email, uh, just put one, two, three, ABC at gmail.com. And then you put their phone number, right? Okay, so then you, you okay, so there, you can use this. I don't use it, but this is the lead source where you got this lead from. So you could say, you know, an agent relationships. Um, there's all of this right here. I, I, don't, I don't use any of them. The reason why I don't use it because I create my own tags. Let's just say I found them on LinkedIn. Well, I have a LinkedIn uh, uh, tag, right? Or let's just say that I call them from the system that I use, Redix. Okay, well, I, 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 I tag them on Redix. So, so let's just say you got them from... Um, let's just say you got it from in and out, right? In and out, and then you come over here, you create a custom, and then you can click whatever color you want. Let's just say this one, add, and then it just creates it for you. Okay, I'm, maybe I'm getting confused on the, using the tag efficiently. So you're creating a tag, but then what is that tag connected to? It's connected to how I how I how I want to um, filter this person. If I got him, let's just say from from an open house. If I met that person at an open house, I have a tag that I created for open house. So I just pull up all of my open house individuals, and then I just follow up with them accordingly how I need to follow up with them. Uh, if I got them from Redix, which is the dialer that I was telling you, I, I tell myself, I got this person from Redix. If it was a referral, somebody referred them to me, I, I create a tag that is a referral. So that's, that's what you have that, the lead source, but I don't use that. So the tag is technically for when you go to send out like the text message. Yeah. And I want to hit all the people that were my Redix. Yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. To all, to all the tags, yeah. Or, or, or let's just say I have a lot of a lot of Spanish speaking uh, individuals here, so I just pull up all of the Spanish uh, speaking uh, uh, tags that I know speak Spanish, and then I send them a text in Spanish. You know what I mean? So that's the purpose of the tags. You you filter them and then you send them information accordingly. So I have business owners there too. I pull up a business owner, all of the business owner tags, and I just send them an article related to a business owner, you know, Wall Street Journal, whatever, because they are they are involved in it. Uh, if they are buyers, I just pull up the tags on buyers and I just send them information about buying a house. If there's the A&W tag that you made, you specifically made that and you're just assigning that to the people with the first names from A. First, no, A and W is only. Oh, A and W. Oh, wow. So DTD2, it's a 12 week, a uh, format where that allows you to touch this individual's four times a week. So there's four quarters in a year, right? So quarter one, A and W, all the way through whatever, B's and, B's and K's, C's and D's, so forth. You touch all of the letters in the alphabet in 12 weeks from week one to week two, uh, week 12. And then the second quarter, you start all over again. A's and W's all the way to week 12. And then week uh, quarter number three, and then in quarter number four, so you're touching them four times a year, but that's supposed to be for a phone call, right? Um, but since I have them on a smart plan, I change it up a little bit to me, to how I think I, it's best for me to follow up with them. Because again, the way I follow up with them may not be the way you follow up with them. You know, it's, it's, very, it's very different, um, but that's, that's just how I follow them. So, so, so I take out the tags so that I can keep track of who is who and where did they come from? Does that make sense? Yeah. Questions on it? No? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 DT. Yeah. DTD. Uh, DTD two. It just. It's just. Uh, it just keeps you very organized, and then on top of your stuff, you know, so you don't. Because I haven't had so many uh, just two weeks ago, uh, actually last week, this individual, I forgot to touch him since last year, for whatever reason, just fell through the cracks, it's going to happen. Last year, he told me, no, I'm, I'm not going to sell. And, and then I, I, I'm like, damn, I, I haven't touched this person. So I clicked on this, I clicked on his name, I clicked on his address. The first thing I do is I, I, I highlight the, uh, the address, I go to Zillow, and this person told just a week before I actually called him. And I say, hey, uh, I thought you weren't going to sell. I said, yeah, but I changed my mind. So, but it's, it had been almost a year and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, so that's why the, that's why you need to create those, ta those tasks for yourself as soon as you put those people in your database. So you're not like who, 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 who you know, uh, so you don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 There's at the beginning, I'm not going to lie though. I, I was like, Maybe I shouldn't touch that person. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But I started realizing, like, well, I mean, and I literally, you know, just forced my more forced myself to do it. And it's not easy at the beginning, though. You know, it's just like calling the other day when you called. You know, I mean, she was, you know, afraid, but she did it. Same thing, and it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It, but anyway, so this is where you create your smart plans. So you go to the smart plan and this is where I edited back to your question earlier. So how do you, um, how do you, you know, edit them? So you can just check, you know, whatever smart plans you have. Uh, let's just say, you know, you want to check this one, you see it, uh, you want to edit that, you click edit and you can edit it to however you want to uh, uh, edit it. So, hi, you know, so-and-so is Jasmine. And then your agent first name comes up. Um, if you want to put, you know, let's just say your first name, you just go here and then it says um, contact first name, contact last name, contact email, whatever that is, right? You click on it and it'll just insert it for you to where you tell it uh, to be inserted. Like it had their first name and last name and it had my first and last name. But that's not me. I, that wasn't organic with me. So I just took out the last name, took out the last name for them and I just left the first name. And so... Uh, you click save and then just, you know, you can uh, fix it however, however you, you want to fix it. Um, 
And so here's what I was telling you earlier. You know, reach out to us in the new video he posted, uh, and so forth. But this is where you would um, edit your smart plans. There's a library here as well that you can choose from. And it tells you what they are. My long-term uh, nurture, the five by five, post-closing follow-up. After you close, you can you know, uh, select a follow-up uh, uh, after you close because it's not gonna be the same type of you know, contact that you're gonna have with this individual after you close. Um, and then there's a bunch of them here. Okay. Yeah, I've, uh, this is the one that I'm using right now. Where is it at? Eight by eight. Yeah. So if you want to, let's just say, you know, quarterly call plan, you view the steps. It tells you right here, you call them, well, the day off, right? And then it's going to wait 90 days, otherwise three months, a quarter. And then it'll, it'll send you uh, a, a reminder to restart it or just give them a call. Okay. Questions on that? Do you have this on, on follow-up box? We have uh, action plans, so the same thing. The same thing? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Do you follow up Yeah. So, okay, so that's that. Um, opportunities, obviously, you know, uh, when you have a listing, you know, this is where, or, you know, you have a, a, a transaction, this is where you would put it in. Uh, campaigns. So every, <clears throat> every other week, I send them a, a newsletter of whatever information I want to send them. So it doesn't necessarily have to be, are you ready to buy? Are you ready to sell? I send them what I want to send them. So what I, want to, what I send them sometimes is just, you know, um, um, what's happening in the market, you know, where interest rates are. And um, uh, so I, 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 tr I send them something that I would read. And it doesn't have to be always real estate related. I, you know, kind of like twist it up a little bit and I just, you know, send them whatever information I want to send them as long as it's obviously appropriate and, and of value. Yeah. So I, I, I create it like that. And then you can, you can design it right here and your I'll show you right now in designs, but this is your campaigns. So you have um, your paid ads. When you have a listing, you can put it on, on, you can put it here. I like to do it here because when I go to Facebook, it, it always rejects it for me. I don't know. Uh, do you know why? But know. yeah. Yeah, I've had issues. Do, if you do ads to Facebook directly, I've had issues with that. Yeah, it just rejects it for me, though. I don't uh, know why. I've had to do it like twice, even for our, our K score. Yeah. We had to do it like two times. The next time we're going to go through the command. Yeah, so I go through here. And this is where I create a, uh, I can put $15, $20, $30, and it just feeds it to whatever, whatever uh, uh, sites I tell them to. And uh, emails. So these are some of the emails that I have sent in the past. So I can see, you know, like for this one, right? You know, why, why buy a condo instead of a house? Um, and then it tells you right here, it keeps track how many I sent out, how many opens and how many clicks. So for example, if you click on the email, it tells you who it was sent to, who it was delivered, who opened it, who clicked on them and who is not open. And then nobody unsubscribed. Usually I have like three or four people that unsubscribe from my emails every time I send it out. So it just, it just keeps track of, uh, you, you keep track of who is pretty much, you know, your, your, you know, keeping up with your content. And I always see the same people opening the emails. So those are the ones that I feed in the most. Yeah, yeah. I have my loyal ones. So that's how you keep track of your emails, direct mail. I don't really use this. Uh, in social posts, I, I don't really come over here. I just do it on my own, but you can create your own. Uh, designs, this is where you would create your designs for your emails. So you can literally create it in any way you want to. Um, let's just say, you know, I created this one a long time ago, I think. Oh, it's not even there anymore. So, oh, so when it's when it's like Thanksgiving or Fourth of July or Memorial Weekend Day, which I need to send one today, you can come over here and, and you can create your own design, however you want to create it. So you see, I send them an I send them an email, a, a video, a video email. 
and then it just that but uh, it, it's just like hey you know happy holidays whatever that was um i can upload it or merry christmas whatever that is i just you know put my logo and i was in my pajamas and you know i just sent it to them like so yeah so this is this is where you would design it you can create a design and then it'll be email or social i just you know i just use the emails and you can come over here you can select whatever design you want to create and not just because it looks like so means that you have to send it like so you could just change this you can take this off you can move this around you can change take, uh, take this off as well um insert insert whatever you want to insert uh let's just say you want to click a, a text you could just come over here and insert the text and then the text will you know populate here and then if you want to write something in it, it'll come up here and then you can just type whatever you want, select your font, select your color and so forth. So what I do at the end, I just take all of this off, like contact me for more details. If you want to buy, I just take it off and I just put my social media uh, links there, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, YouTube, whatever that is, you know, so they just have that there, but still the information of the, of the, the, the market center is going to stay there. You cannot take that off. It's just going to have to stay there. But, uh, but everything else I take and I just design it how, how I want to design it. And mine is very simple. It's not like, you know, anything, you know, out of this world. And you created those in designs. In designs, yeah. You go to designs and you can create them however you want to create them. So these are some of the designs that I have created. Um, for some reason, I can't get to the ones that you can choose. Actually, yeah, they're right here. I think this is where I was earlier. So you have about 72 templates. You can select whatever, whatever template you want. So you see they're, you know, laid out differently. But again, you know, you can choose and select how you want to select it. You know, you can change this photo. Uh, what I do, because sometimes um, I, I, I used to get stuck on what do I send them? So I, what I do is I have new home ambassador website from Steve Ryder. And then he sends out, uh, there's a lot of articles there that you can actually read. And they're like two minute reads. Uh, you can select those. What I do is I just copy it and then I paste it here, but then I just change it up a little bit because the information is already there. So uh, again, if it's something that is not organic to me, I just kind of, you know, take that off and I just turn it into my own, but still leaving all the, all the, all the, all the vital info that, Steve Ryder sent that on that email and, and I just put whatever photo I want to put. If I want to send him a video, I upload the video or, or just leave it like so. But this is where you, you can design and get creative. Questions? No questions? Um, for me? So interaction yeah so so for me i just i just started uh when hector mentioned this to me i i implemented it right away because i was doing i was doing just a monthly neighborhood update because in my head i was thinking like i don't want to bother them but how do i know i'm bothering them so i said you know what hector thank you for telling me this so i started implementing that and then i really like the way it just touches them automatically and it just frees you up from you physically having to follow up with them because I was following up with them on the task. So I was creating a task 30 days later and then I had a long list of laundry that I needed to follow up with. And most of them people were like, oh yeah, I'm not interested. So those people I started like just ta not, not tagging them but separating them and then just putting them here. And then they, they get automatic uh, text messages and I just follow up with them, you know, let's just say, you know, 45 days or 90 days, whenever it's the DTD2, when it's time for me to call them. So I don't like spend unnecessary time for somebody that is just, you know, like not interested, but decided to give me their info. So if it was, they feel like I'm touching them, like I'm physically, I'm like, I'm literally, you know, calling them and texting them, but it's, it's the system that is touching them. And that just frees me up so that I can do other stuff. Um, like, you know, make, continue to make phone calls. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm clearing up all my tasks because I had like, like I said, just cause I'm still learning too though. You know, I mean, this is a, a, a continuous learning. So I'm clearing, I'm clearing all my tasks from, from just literally tasks of people like, no, I'm not interested. Okay, can I get your email? Sure, you know, here's my email. So those are the ones that I'm just putting in automatically, A by A, A by A. And then I just follow up with them right before the holidays because they're not interested in selling right now, but they're being touched automatically right now. 
and 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 then I get a, I get to make him a phone call, you know, forty five days from today. Be, before the 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 ninety days come, I have to physically, you know, just drop something in the mail, and this is where I have to get creative, you know, send them like a postcard or send them a a, a you know a pen or a notepad or something of value. What I do is I have magnets too. Um, I bought them at uh, Amazon and I think they're like 25 bucks for 200 of them, of them. And so what I did is I, I, I put my business card there and, and, and it's, it just become, it just became a magnet. So I sent him a thank you card and then I just put it in, 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 in the envelope and then I just send it out to them. And sometimes when I call, especially the Hispanic community, we're like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you my refrigerator and whatnot. So, 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 um, so yeah, it, 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 you know, you can send them something of value like that. Yeah. Questions? No, no. But that eight, eight by eight is in here. Yeah. So if you, if you scroll down, you, you're going to find it. Scroll down more. We'll go all the way at the top. See all. Yeah. That's all you got? Oh, so yeah. My, my smart plans? Uh -huh. mm, up here? Oh, right there. Hmm. Okay. I'll find it. Uh, I'll, I'll be finding it right now. Eight, eight by eight. Yeah, it's just eight by eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any questions online? No? Yeah, yeah. And it, it's, all, it's all in command. So the way I see it, um, when I first came into the office, I, this is what I was taught. But it didn't mean that I wasn't paying attention to other systems. Um, the one that Claudia has is really, really good too. Um, I just thought to myself, let me use this as a leverage because I already have it. And so what I didn't want to do is like overwhelm myself with like, what do I do? What do I do? You know, uh, uh, how do I create my, you know, whatever things. Right. So I just said, you know what, let me focus on what I already have. And I know that there's other things out there too, that work very, very well, but I know that this one has special, uh, features. And so let me leverage them for now. So it's already there. So I said, why not? And it has worked for me very well. Um, I mean, it, Claudia has, you know, some other features that we don't have here. Um, so it, 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 it's just one with another, you know. Uh, I really recommend, like, starting off, like, use command because it's free. It's already in your paid for it already. Yeah. Um, you know, it's included. And then um, the only reason I didn't really say with command was because um, I would always say that mine was broken. I would always say that there's something wrong with mine. And then Angie finally, I was telling Angie, okay, uh, can, you, can you do this on mine? Because she's going to do, like, a random feature. And then she like went in and she was trying to like do my stuff and she's like, it's not, it's not saving it. And I'm like, I told you. I was like, she would always tell me, uh, it works, it works, you know, because you know how she knows the man and stuff. So she would always tell me, it works, it works. You probably just don't know how to like work it. And I was like, okay, I was like, then you do it. And then she went on and she's like, actually, so we put in a ticket, a request for the tech guy to help. So yeah, would have fixed some things and then they're still fixing other things. But I'm like, I'm already hooked on the Oh, right okay, now. okay, yeah. That's really the only reason why I didn't use it. It's included. And then that makes sense, though, because I, I would have done the same thing. If my command was not, you know, at that point, I'm like, no, I'm already hooked up onto something else. It, it's kind of hard, though. Like, right now, when I heard what Claudia has, I'm like, this is pretty good. But it was just giving me a headache, just like, oh, I got to do this. I'm like, oh, no, you know. So I just left it alone because it works. It works. So... Uh, it has it has a lot a lot of features that you can just leverage from, but that is that is essentially what I do as far as when I get into you know when I call somebody, um, I don't add them right away. I used to do that, and it was just messing up with my with my rhythm. So like if I had the dialer going, I would I right, sure here's my email. Okay, perfect, and I would go from vortex to command, and I was typing, and next thing I know is ten minutes later, hit the dialer again, and I'm like oh heck no. You know, and so it was just taking me too long. So what I did is, okay, I'll just get a little notepad on the side with their name, but I'm taking notes on the vortex. And then just at the end of the day, uh, I, I go in and, and, and add them to, to, to command. But I, 
Vortex is the dialer that we use. Yeah, so you have Mojo, Vortex, Vulcan 7. Um, those are the three ones that are, that are, do you guys know of any other? That's it, right? Yeah, Vortex, which is Red X. Um, that one is $100 a month for a single liner. And if you want to get multiple, so two or three, right? So when you get the two, you're going to get three. Uh, it's $50 more. So it's 150 a month. Yeah. 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 So Vulcan 7, it's one of the most unique ones because it gives you for sale by owners. It gives you expires, freshly expires, which Redix does too. Um, and and non-owner occupied who doesn't live at the property. So you could just call them by section. Do you want to call Fizzbowls? Okay, just dial all the Fizzbowls and then just go through them. And that's one of the things too that I do here. You know, when I go create the tag, I created a Fizzbowl for sell by owner and I just follow up with them and I just call them. But um, but yeah, that's that's really the 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 um, the way that I follow up with someone after I decide that I need to nurture them and and um and then i just let the command you know take care of the rest yeah i know the one the one uh um, the video um the video uh scripts that you got it's boom right how do you like it do you you really like it? Yeah, I like it because it also, you know who's really good at that? Miguel. Miguel uh, Diaz, one of the agents here. He he is really good with with um with his newsletters because on Bomb Bomb, it's not only to send videos. You can actually uh put your con it's almost like a CRM too. You can put your contacts there, but it's not designed for that. But you could do that, you could use that as so, but um you can um you can send your videos and then you can create a newsletter and then you could just send it to your clients. They have almost like this design feature that we have here in command. They have that too, but with different templates, different layouts. And so if you ask Miguel, one of these days, how does he send his newsletter? He can show you how he lays it out. And his looks really, really um, modern, I guess you can say. That's the word, you know, very, very modern, very uh, stylish. Um, and he gets that through uh, Bomb Bomb. I haven't I haven't taken advantage of that. I just use it to send videos. And then your bomb bomb, you can link it to your to your Gmail. So when you send in when you send in an email, uh, instead of me sending an email, I just click record and then I just record myself. I, I sometimes I do it while I'm here. And I just record and then I just send them a video to them. And and I no longer have to type. I just say, hey, here's my information down below. And I just send them whatever, whatever info I, I have for them. Yeah. No, and then I also attach my social media links too as a signature it's part of a gmail yeah any questions any questions for them no no are they sleeping <laughs> observing <laughs> yeah um yeah, that's that's uh that's that's pretty much it. I don't know. Uh, do you guys use the same? Uh, uh, what do you guys do when you when you follow up? I do exactly that. I add it to the end of my dial session, and then I send them a copy of my digital business card. Do you do your digital business card? So I have a business card. 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 I have a yeah, that's the best way for You can do that. Uh, you can do that on Canvas as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that in Canva. You can design it however you want to, and 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 it just downloads to you, to your email it to yourself, and then just download it to your to your phone. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I had one for the longest, and I just got tired of sending. I mean, seeing that one every day, so I just made it more colorful, <laughs> and then that's what I send them. You can send with Canvas as well. You could create a, a video, a digital card. Yeah, yeah. When they get it, they open it and then they click on it and then like think the, 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 your information starts popping out or an airplane could come from behind and, and then just drop your info. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can do a lot of things with Canvas. So that's that's where also you can create your, your open house flyers. Yeah, yeah. Just type in real estate and it'll tell you everything like, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But I think uh, I paid a hundred dollars. I think I don't know if they raised it. 
I paid a hundred dollars for the year. Yeah, for the year. Oh, okay. Yeah, they give you the options monthly or yearly. Yeah, I think so. So I just selected year and then just gave me the one hundred dollars. And I think I asked you and Juan, I'm like, how do you guys do this? And you guys told me Canva. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of features with Canvas that you can do. You can create your own uh resume there too. That's what I was doing. But I yeah, with Canva. But what I did is instead of going there, I used the Michael Lewis. And then some of the backgrounds from Michael Lewis, I took them off. And then I just replaced it with whatever I created on Canvas because Canvas was more modern, like more, more luxury uh, homes. And with, uh, with, with, with um, yeah, it was just very, um, I don't know, very simple, very, yeah, very simple. And then with Canvas, I had a lot of options and I just created what I wanted to create. Download it to my computer, put it on my drive, and then put it on on my on my Michael Lewis. Yeah. So so if you look at my listing presentation, it doesn't look like you got it from Michael Lewis because I change everything. Yeah. But I do that when I'm not here. You know, I do that like seven, eight o'clock at night, or maybe ten o'clock at night when I'm just like, you know, not working. You know, because one of the things that I started getting more during the event that we went uh, about a week ago, I think it was. Is that you know when you have your you have to protect your time when you when you when you're dialing because that's the money making time, you know. And so I really took that to heart because the guy was really like, if you want to build a one million dollar business, you need to have a system. So he said everything that you do, write it down so that if I give it to you, you know exactly what I do, you know. And you're not like figuring out like what does he do or what, what you know what is he up to, you know. So I literally write it down. It's almost like a job description. You know, our SOP, standard um, uh, operating procedure. Yeah. yeah, just just write it down and, and and just you know turn it into the person, and then they'll do everything that you're supposed to do. But it's just having a system where you do things which without you thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, that was powerful. But that's all I got, guys. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you.